Hello and welcome to diagnosticquestions.com. This website has been created by me, Craig Barton, an advanced skills teacher of mathematics and the creator of MrBartonMaths.com and Simon Woodhead, the development director of Autograph. Diagnostic questions are an incredibly simple and effective form of assessment for learning. They are designed to give an instant snapshot of a class's understanding of a specific skill or concept and allow you to direct your teaching accordingly. The idea behind them is very simple. Each question has four possible answers, one of which is correct, with the other three options chosen carefully to reveal a key misconception. Let's take a look at a quick example. So the following question may be asked by a teacher about to embark on a lesson on compound area. And before she does that, she wants to know whether or not her students understand how to work out the area of a rectangle. So she projects this question up to the front of the class, gives them a few seconds to consider their answer, and then asks them to vote. Possibly one finger for A, two for B, three for C, and four for D. And it's not just the case that the teacher knows who's got it right and who's got it wrong. She knows from their answers exactly where their misunderstandings lie. So students voting A are probably just doing 10 plus 7 instead of multiplying them. Students answering C are possibly mistaking area with perimeter and doing 10 plus 7 plus 10 plus 7. And students answering option D may well be mistaking the formula for an area of a rectangle with that of an area of a triangle and doing 10 times 7 and halving their answer. Now on the website I've put lots of pedagogical advice about how to deal with these students' misunderstandings because getting them to explain their answers to each other and then possibly do a revote can often alleviate any misunderstanding and allow you then to continue with the main part of the lesson. Now diagnostic questions can be used with any age range and any ability and I'm going to take you on a brief tour through the, some of the wide range of questions that we can have in a second. Now with the website, teachers can freely create questions and share them with other colleagues or teachers all around the world. And it's very, very easy to create questions. There's an online editor which allows you to write in text or import shapes. Or if you've got an interactive whiteboard or a tablet, you can scribble straight onto the canvas and write your question that way. Alternatively, you may want to create a question on PowerPoint or, or on some other kind of Microsoft product and then you can take a snapshot of it, save it as an image and upload it straight onto the canvas. Then all that's left to do is for you to select the correct answer, tag it to the right area of mathematics, and then you're done. Teachers can also create quizzes of questions and save them, again, completely freely. This is so, so easy to do. And if you use our menu system down the left-hand side, you can filter out exactly the area of mathematics that you're after and find hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of questions on it. And then it's simply a case of adding these to a quiz, naming them and saving them. I've created a quiz just to show you here the range of questions that can be asked. So I may use this straight away in my classroom on my interactive whiteboard and get the students to vote. So here's one on percentages. The next question is on transformations. Then we have one on basic number line work. Again, each of the wrong answers chosen carefully to reveal a key misconception. There's one on Pythagoras. Vectors. Bounds of weights. Completing the square. And so on. Now what's nice as well is that you can look at an individual question and decide what you think the correct answer is. So if you think that one is B, you can click check and so on. So students can go onto the website and use this for revision. It works perfectly well on all mobiles and all tablets. And you as a teacher can get statistics on any question to see how many times it's been answered correctly and how many times it's been answered incorrectly. Not only are diagnostic questions an incredibly powerful teaching tool, Teachers writing questions together is an excellent way to get departments talking about topics and the misconceptions that students may have. Furthermore, challenging students to create questions themselves demonstrates an incredibly deep level of learning. 
We hope you find this website useful and if you have any questions yourselves, then please upload them.